Spain and Portugal are some of the most popular destinations in Europe, and no matter what kind of vacation you are envisioning, you'll likely be able to do in these two countries. Travel through picturesque landscapes and scenery, relax on sparkling beaches, indulge in mouth-watering cuisine, and experience the rich culture. Welcome to Multi-City Trips, the multi-destination travel expert for personalized multi-city trips to Europe. And in today's video, we bring you our top destinations you should consider adding into your Spain and Portugal vacation itinerary. New to our travel channel? We post new videos every Monday and Thursday, so subscribe today and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our latest travel guide, inspiration, tips, and amazing travel itineraries available to your favorite destinations in Europe. If you're planning a trip to Spain and Portugal and aren't sure where to start, here's a list of destinations that are great options for a trip, lasting anywhere from 10 days to 2 weeks. To help you make the most of this Spain and Portugal travel guide, we've listed our recommended hotels to stay in and more things you can do in each destination in the video description below, so make sure to check them out. Before we dive into our top destinations, let's take a look at the itinerary overview. In this itinerary, you'll begin your journey in Spain. Your first stop is Barcelona, followed by four other amazing destinations in Spain before you make your way to Portugal, where you'll be visiting another four incredible destinations. Lisbon will be your last stop. You'll be heading back home from there. Here are our top destinations included in this itinerary. Barcelona Barcelona is an incredible travel destination and a great first stop for your itinerary. You can spend a day or two here and experience the rich culture and fascinating historic sites and structures that the city has to offer. One of the most famous historic sites is a basilica. La Sagrada Familia is a one-of-a-kind structure that was constructed with multiple architectural styles. You can get used to being in a new country while sampling delicious tapas, relaxing at sidewalk cafes, or even seeing a soccer game. La Rioja Wine Region If you're able to add an extra day or two to your itinerary, head north of Barcelona to La Rioja to try some wine in one of Europe's most famous wine regions. The barrel-aged red wines the area is famous for are made from Tempranillo and Garnacha grapes and have berry notes. You can stroll through the various vineyards and take tours to learn about the long history of wine production here. The first Phoenician settlers came here in 11,000 BC, and the wine you can taste today is a result of the knowledge and traditions that have been perfected over the years since then. Valencia Head south of Barcelona to experience sunny Valencia. One of the most incredible things to do in the city is to visit the Central Market. The building where it is held dates back to 1914 but a market has been occurring in the same location since 1839. Most of the market is dedicated to food, but there are also artisan wares sold here. Madrid Next, head west towards the center of the country to see Madrid, Spain's capital city. Madrid is full of history, parks, cultural sites, gardens, and a thriving nightlife scene. Eat at the historic Sobrino de Botín which is the oldest continually operating restaurant in the world. When you're there, you can try the cochinillo asado, roast pig, which has been the house special for decades. Notable author Ernest Hemingway once ate here, as did artist Francisco de Goya, who was a waiter at the restaurant before going to art school and starting his career. Segovia Located just northwest of Madrid, Segovia is a destination with many historic sites to explore. The Alcazar de Segovia was once a fortress protecting the city. It went through several other iterations before becoming what it is today, a museum. It is said that the structure also inspired the architects of Cinderella's Castle in Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida.
Porto. After several days in Spain, head west to Portugal, more specifically, the coastal town of Porto. This charming coastal destination is famous for port wine production and is an idyllic place to roam. You can wander the narrow cobbled streets and small shops and restaurants. The city is also known for its stately bridges and historic and impressive architecture. For example, you can visit Livraria Lelo, an absolutely stunning bookstore that is one of the oldest in the country. It has a remarkable stained glass skylight and a famous staircase leading to the second floor, and it is said to have inspired Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling. Sintra Travel south along the Portuguese coast to find Sintra, a fairy tale destination where you can easily spend a few days marveling at the architecture and experiencing the food, drinks, and other aspects of the culture. One of the things Sintra is famous for is its abundance of the incredible castles to visit. The Pena Palace and Quinta da Regalera are two iconic structures that are essential viewing. The Pena Palace is known for its colorful exteriors and beautiful gardens. The Palazzo de Monserrate is another incredible option, and walking through it will feel like a video game or movie. Madeira The archipelago of Madeira is an idyllic excursion that can be easily accessed from Lisbon. One of the island's most famous exports is Madeira wine, a fortified sweet wine that has been popular with many. It was actually a favorite drink of the first American president, General George Washington. The landscapes of Madeira were classified as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's an incredible destination for hiking, photography, and more. Madeira is also well known for its culinary experiences. Due to its location, the seafood dishes produced on this island are incredibly fresh, and due to the skilled execution of traditional recipes by the chefs in the island's many restaurants, the dishes are also high quality. There are also several non-seafood options, such as espatada. Espatada is the name for a process of grilling meat on skewers, and in Madeira, this is traditionally done with beef that has been soaked in Madeira wine, vinegar, and olive oil, before being left on smoldering wood chips. Lisbon End your trip with a stop in Lisbon, Portugal's capital city. The colorful buildings set against the coastal backdrop are a stunning visual, and the city offers plenty to do. There are multiple museums that focus on topics such as Asia and the Far East, ancient art, and Western and Eastern art. You can also visit the ruins of the Carmo Church that was built between 1389 and 1423. The city itself is a renowned historic site, and you can walk through the alleyways and open plazas and imagine what life was like in the past while exploring the comforts and culinary experiences of today. Lisbon also has an airport within the city limits, so you can start your journey home here instead of having to head all the way back to Barcelona. There you have it! Our top destinations you should consider adding to your Spain and Portugal trip itinerary if you have anywhere between 10 days to 2 weeks to travel. Not ready for this trip right now? Add them to your European bucket list for your future trips instead. And when you are ready for that trip of a lifetime, don't forget to check our recommended places to stay in and more things you can do in each destination in the video description below. Did your favorite destinations in Spain and Portugal make our list? Comment below with your list of the best destinations you think we should consider adding to our top list. Want to experience the best of Spain and Portugal but need help planning and finding the best vacation package. Visit us at multicitytrips.com today and see how our travel experts can design and personalize the best vacation package to Spain and Portugal for you.